What's up guys? So today I'll show you how to make a signature just like this. It's actually really simple to make. So let's go ahead and get started. For this, you'll need a render and some brushes. I'll link you to both in the description. And from here we're just gonna create a new lit new project. We're gonna do five hundred by two hundred pixels. And first thing we're gonna do is drag the render over into the new project and we're he's a little big so we're going to resize him move him over and we're going to name the render okay so with the render layer selected you just want to hit control J and copy it and we're going to hide the original one so we don't get confused and with copy, we're just making it real big. And make them cover about one third of the white space. And we're just gonna copy them again. Move them over here. And we're just gonna flip the image. So it covers up the other third of the other side. And we'll just copy them one final time. Then copy. And we're just gonna move them in the middle. Set big, big. So it covers up the rest, white space. You don't want any white space showing. And with our copy three, we're just gonna move it right below the first copy and right above the original render. And we're just gonna merge all three of the copies you just made. Hit Control E to merge them and move it right below the original render so now we got the background the copies and the original render so now what we're going to do is smudge so we're going to select the copies and get our smudge tool out I'm using a default circle brush with hardness turned up and size 8 and I'm not going to spend too much time on this so you can just pause the video and just copy uh, the settings I have, you just want something that looks like this, similar to this, and we're just going to go to transfer. Those are three things I changed, so you can just copy those and get something like. So with this, we're just going to go up and down around the whole thing, across the whole thing. And we're going to have our strength on 67, in case you didn't see that. With strength too high, you won't be able to see it, and it's just a good setting. All right, that looks all right right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer in between the copies and the original render. And from here, we're going to take the brush you downloaded, and uh, we're just going to make this. Make it a smaller size, about there, and we're gonna get. Make sure the foreground color is white. Make that visible, and we're just gonna click a couple times. Change up the brush. You don't need this, but it just looks a little bit better. So once you have something that looks fairly decent, like that, we're going to right click this layer and go to blending options. And all you want to do here is click outer glow and hit OK. So you should have something that looks similar to this. And uh, now we're going to click our render and create a new layer right above it. And with this one, we're just going to get our brush tool out and go back to our default ones and we'll do around size around 300 doesn't have to be exact get our black color out and just go around the edge Oop, it's too close just like this around the whole thing 
it looks kind of funky now, but once you take the passage down, it looks a lot better. And just get our white back cap. And just click twice. Very important, you do the black first and white, or it'll just look weird. And take the passage down just a bit. Not too much. 95 scenes work. And this is one of the most important parts of the signature itself, is the adjustments. So you just want to click, you want to add a couple gradient maps and some other adjustments. So you just want to click this circle thing right here and go to gradient map. And with our white to black one, you just want to hit reverse. So it gives it this smoother look, black to white. And with the layer selected, you just want to put it on soft light and take the opacity down. And we're going to add another gradient map, but this time we're going to do purple, violet to orange. And again, we're going to set it on soft light. Take the opacity down once again. Okay, right about there. This is the most important part. Now we're just going to add a vibrance adjustment, and we take the vibrance up a lot. It's about there. We take saturation up just a little bit, not much. Don't need much. And we're going to do brightness and contrast now. Take the brightness up and contrast up just a bit. Get something good looking like that. And now we're going to add our final adjustment, which is curves. You just very careful with this. Very little adjustments. Now, don't copy exactly what I do, because you got different shades and whatnot in your signature. You want to be looking at signature itself when you do this, not over here. That looks alright. And from here, we're just going to create a new layer. And make sure it's above everything. And you just want to do image, apply image. You should get a little box and just hit OK. And we're just going to drag over and get our sharpen tool out. And go around the whole render. And uh, now you just want to get your dodge tool out and get around the darker parts of the render. Brighten it up. Then you just want to get your burn tool out and just go around the edges. There you go. And the final step, finish up the signature, is just going to do edit, stroke, and change the color to black. Leave it around two picks. You said okay. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.